Time for our Bloomberg Quick Take, where we provide context and background on issues of interest. As President Donald Trump visits Israel, we're looking at the Mideast peace process today. The notion that Israelis and Palestinians can share the Holy Land, living in separate, independent nations, has been a seductive goal for eight decades. The vision drove an on and off peace talk complex for more than 20 years. But the lack of progress has led to a growing sentiment that the two-state solution, so-called, is dead. But if not two states, then what? Here is the situation. President Trump has said he'd like to broker a peace agreement, but that he's not committed to the idea of a Palestinian state, a goal of American democracy for two decades. Rather, Trump says, he supports any deal the two sides can come to. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu appeared to rule out a Palestinian state during his 2015 re-election campaign, later saying he meant such an outcome was not achievable today. In the absence of progress, Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas has threatened to to abandon previously signed accords with Israel. President Trump met with Abbas at the White House in May. Here's the background. After various partition plans were rejected, Israel declared independence in 1948. In a 1967 war, Israel captured, among other Arab territories, the Gaza Strip, the West Bank and East Jerusalem, putting residents under military occupation, which spread Palestinian nationalism. Here's the argument. An alternative to the two-state solution would be a single binational state, where democratic elections determine who controls the government. But few Israelis favor this approach. So for now, in the absence of progress towards a sound alternative, the status quo may be the most likely outcome, at least for the foreseeable future. You can read more about Israel and all our quick takes at NIQuick on the Bloomberg.